Welcome to Goodbit. I'm Lucas, and today we're going to be talking about Lightning Networks. This is a technology that's still being developed, but it has a lot of potential to dramatically speed up the Bitcoin network. Bitcoin is already faster than wire transfers and cheaper to use than credit cards, but the network can only handle a certain load. If a ton of people use Bitcoin at once, it would get slower. Lightning Networks are a solution to that problem. Basically, we harvest lightning from the sky and use it to supercharge mining rigs. We make them about 10,000 light ampules faster than before. It's amazing. Just kidding. Lightning networks are designed to make Bitcoin transactions almost free, almost instantaneous, and highly scalable. Here's how it works. You and I are obviously close, dear old friends, ch childhood friends, and we often pay each other for things, and we're also obviously Bitcoin enthusiasts who both own Bitcoin. So here's what we do when we need to pay each other for stuff. You and I open a shared Bitcoin account, also called a multi-signature wallet, and we each put a little bit of Bitcoin in it. When we need to pay each other for things like pizza or all the bets that we make or Chipotle, we just adjust the internal balance of that shared account. Stay with me here. This is where things get really interesting. So you and I have a shared account and you and super chef Bobby Flay have a shared account. I need to pay Bobby Flay, so here's what happens. I pay you using our shared account, and then you pay Bobby Flay using your shared account. But for the sake of argument, let's add another step. Let's say I need to pay Guy Fieri. So here's what would happen. I pay you using our shared account, you pay Super Chef Bobby Flay using your shared account, and Super Chef Bobby Flay pays Guy Fieri using their shared account. Here's the beauty. This relay of who knows who can go on as long as it needs to until we reach the person that we're trying to pay. This is because the Lightning Network automatically finds these connections and executes them all by itself. It's almost instantaneous and there are no fees on these transactions because we don't actually put them on the blockchain. Instead, we just update our shared account balances off chain. And the only times when we actually use the blockchain are when we open the shared account by funding it and when we close the shared account by taking the funds back to our personal addresses. It might sound a little complicated, but actually using a Lightning Network could be really simple in the future. The baseline technology is still being developed, but it has a lot of potential, and in a few years, it could be all the rage. It could be taking crypto by, by, by storm, or making transactions light, lightning fast, or elect, electrifying the markets. Thanks for joining us to talk about Lightning Networks. We'll see you next time.